Hello and welcome to Knowledge Frames. So now it's time to start some practical work and as you can see here that we have a office that we will be actually building a network for at San Francisco and then we have another one at New York so basically what we are doing in here is we are just taking a real life example and then creating a network with different servers and then uh, going through all those real life scenarios so that you will better understand that how it really works when you are working in a production environment or you're working in a real life environment so that is something really important so what are we doing in here is that we will be building a Windows Server 2019 uh, as a primary domain controller or the first domain controller if you don't know the concept we will be explaining that and then we will have another server that will be providing additional domain controller services and then we will have a file server at our sec San Francisco location and as you can see that I have done some naming convention for them which I will explain what naming convention is and what are the different best practices that we have to follow and then and as you can see we have like naming convention for our client machines too so we will have two or uh, Windows 10 machines or one Windows 10 machine in each side just for our testing purpose and then uh, you can see that the roles that we have is Active Directory, Domain Name System, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol for our IP addressing system which we will be learning in details and then we have file server here and then we have a New York office where we have a child domain controller so what I have done instead of making it as a additional domain controller I added child domain controller so that we can test another scenario and I can explain what is child domain controller and what it does and then you can see we have the same naming convention and then we have active directory dns dhcp and file server uh, role in here and we will be sharing data and then we will be testing it between two different sites so basically when you are working in a real life environment what you will do is like this New York office is far away from San Francisco and then your networking team or your network engineers will be configuring a, a router or firewall or layer 3 device and, and, and do some routing and configure side to side VPN so basically if you're working only on system you don't have to do all those jobs the, the networking team will be doing that but in here what we will be doing is since uh, most of you may want to test it in in a virtual lab so what we will do is we will be using our virtualization software and then we will be uh, basically building up this networks and this network will work the same way as long as you have the networking done and they have like connectivity with e with each other that's all you will need so let's get started and um, see how it will work